Hi, I'm Dr. Joseph Riggio, and I want to invite you to spend just a short amount of time with me here as I introduce a program I'll be doing on the 25th and 26th of April in Brighton, UK, and it's called Audacious Coaching. And really, let me make it as simple as possible in case you're short on time. And that is, I will help you as a coach, as a consultant, as an expert advisor, be more effective and more playful in the way that you work with clients. And that's going to be the basis of everything that I do when I spend these two days with you in Brighton. Now, I want to get into a bit of the detail as well, in case you do have the time to hang around. So we're going to be spending time in these two days going through really original ways of working. I'm going to bring out from you the way that you uniquely stand when you're working with clients and who you are. This is bringing yourself to the work because the nature of how I train, the nature of what I want to share with you is a way to be fully embodied when you're working with clients. And this is really an important thing to consider because being fully present is about taking the connection that you make with clients beyond empathy. And, you know, I've worked with some really audacious coaches and I really learned from some audacious mentors of mine, including the guy that I studied with for many years, Roy Frazier. But a good friend of mine, John Laval, who happens to be the president of Society of NLP with Richard Bandler, is somebody I consider to be one of the most audacious trainers and coaches I've ever met. And he said something to me once that stuck in my head. What he said is, you have to care enough not to care. And then he went on to add, you have to care enough not to care what other people think about you. And I got from that the idea that when you're really being audacious, when you're really going beyond the boundary, breaking the rules, going past the norms, you do care enough about what others get, their transformation, what they came to you for, not to care what they think about you. So it makes you playful. You can do all kinds of things you wouldn't otherwise be able to do in the presence of other people whether it's in front of one person, your one-to-one -one kind of work, or you're in a small group or a large group, it doesn't really matter. The audacious quality brings out playfulness in you and it lets you go past what's considered appropriate. And you learn to be what I call respectfully disrespectful. And this is about breaking the patterns that people have because ultimately what happens is when we're doing the work at the level of being playful, being audacious, being a little bit outrageous, in fact, it becomes uncomfortable for people but it's uncomfortable because it leads them into a new level of capability. And this is what I want to do with you as well. You see, we have patterns that we work from, and these patterns are familiar to us. We know what goes on here. This is our comfort zone. Anytime we move to a different set of patterns, something else that we're not yet doing, it's uncomfortable. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't quite fit. And in order to get somebody to break the patterns that they're comfortable with so they can go to where they don't yet go, you have to be willing to make them uncomfortable. And that's where the audaciousness comes in. That's where it becomes really useful to be able to go beyond the boundaries, beyond the norms, beyond what's comfortable, and be playful about it. Make people enjoy the process. Even if they're not enjoying every single moment of being uncomfortable, they're enjoying their time they're spending with you. And that's what I want to bring out of you. That's part of what I want to do in these two days that we spend together. See, there's an underlying code, I believe. And this underlying code is somatic. It's in your body. And I talk about this all the time as the ability to recognize how you're being the instrument of change. So I call it becoming the instrument. You really have to raise your level of sensitivity. And this is because we want to notice what I call the signals in the system. So it's about becoming the instrument so that you can notice the signals in the system. And the signals are system, what's going on over there with this other person? How do you notice what's happening there? How do you notice what's happening within yourself? How do you bring that together and interlace them so you become highly effective in both the verbal component of coaching as well as the nonverbal components? What you do with yourself, how you respond to yourself, and how you respond to others. You see, this is digging down into what I call the micromuscular level of understanding. So there's little signals that we're constantly sending to ourselves and to others that can be picked up upon and noticed for. And if we can access that level of information, we can really be working in like a whole nother domain. And this is, again, part of what makes it audacious, is that you're working outside of any real conscious awareness, sometimes not even your own conscious awareness. You're responding to something, you get this flash of insight, and you go, that's it. That was important. I need to attend to that. And not only that, after these two days, you'll know what to do with it because we'll be going into this somatic form, into this embodied quality, and I'll show you how to get beyond all the cookie cutter approaches, all the things that you thought you were supposed to be doing. You see, really for me, working with other people, whether you're a coach or a consultant, expert advisor, if you're with other people, 
you have to be digging into this idea that I refer to as ontological exploration. The nature of one's being, who is it that you're showing up as? Who is it that this other person came into the room being? And when you can access that level of being, it's really powerful because that's where real change, real transformation occurs. And we're going to do this through what I call an aesthetic framework. And what I mean by that really simply is this. It's the sensual, the sensorial. It's using your senses and tapping into the senses and looking for what's present in real terms, in real form, and even bringing out of what's present, the beauty, the poetry, the wonder, so that that becomes the basis of what it is you're doing in your life as you live through your life, but you bring into the coaching context, into the consulting context, into your expert advising context, this level of sensuality and sensorial awareness, and you bring it out of others as well. So that's a lot of what we're going to be doing. It's not everything. In fact, I want you to discover more of who you are in these two days than you ever might have been aware of yourself before. And in fact, maybe even more than you ever thought you'd be capable of or capable of being aware of yourself. And yet, all I've described is only part of what we'll be doing in these two days that will make this program audacious. And I'm inviting you to go take a look at the link below, find out more about the program, register. And before I go, I just want to add one more small thing. We have a super, super early bird offer in place right now. Mark Walsh, who's going to be my host in Brighton for these two days, has urged me and convinced me basically to give an incredibly low offer for the people who get in early. So until February 20th, you can still join this program at the super early bird offer. It's less than I charge for most of my online webinars. So go and take a look at that. Take a look at what you can do when you join and the various uh, times that you can get in. The early bird offer, as I say, ends on February 20th. Then you'll get into the early bird offer. Then you'll get into the full price. Let's avoid all that. Jump in now get in on the early bird offer, get registered, and I'll be around to share some more information with you over the next few weeks as well. Thanks so much. Looking forward to having you in the program, meeting you in person in Brighton. And once again, go down below, check out the link, see what it's all about, and register today. Cheers. Thanks much.